Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, Bitcoin has just had a pretty big rally to a very important level of resistance. Can it break this resistance? Because if it can, an all-time high run is likely. The next seven days on Bitcoin look promising, and in this video, I'm going to show you why Bitcoin might be about to hit a new all-time high in just the next few days. If you want to know what Bitcoin's about to do, this is the video for you, but without much further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. Guys, let's take a look at what's happened over the last couple of days. As you can see down here on the four hourly chart, Bitcoin has been gradually setting higher highs and higher lows in a chain of events that is leading Bitcoin out of its sideways range. Right now, Bitcoin has found itself in this range over the last week and a half. But what we need to see happen is we need to see Bitcoin enter an actual trend. At the moment, it is not in an actual trend. But if Bitcoin is able to break above this level of resistance here at $63,750, which represents a local high that we set back on the 25th of October, then in my opinion, Ethereum and Bitcoin will be going back up into an uptrend, which is a very, very good thing. We want to see Bitcoin trending because when it's trading sideways, number one, it's hard to make money. But number two, it means that it is boring and that allows retail investors to leave the market because they get, well, I just said it, bored. We want to see some interesting movement coming in on Bitcoin during the entire month of October. I was telling you guys, look, Bitcoin just had this giant rally. It needs to have a correction so that it can consolidate and lock in gains. What just happened? We had that correction. We traded sideways. Very good thing. Now what we need to see Bitcoin do is we need to see it move into a big uptrend, and I think it's going to. Here's why. Taking a look on the daily chart, several things look very bullish. Number one, you can see that the MACD is converging bullish on itself, and we very well may have a bullish cross in just the next couple of days if we do manage to continue going to the upside. Also, take a look down here at Lux Oscillator. This is part of the Lux Algo package. You can get a 20% off coupon code down below. This is reversing and moving to the upside which is very, very good. We can also see that down here on the four hourly chart, I believe it's the four hourly chart. Now it's actually the hourly chart that I want to show you. Down here, there was some bullish RSI divergence going on and that has now played out. Down here on the four hourly chart, you can see it as well. Actually, I'll show you on the daily chart. I know I keep jumping around. On the daily chart, Bitcoin had this uptrending level of support that had been in play and has been in play for quite some time. But we also have this downtrending level of support right here. This is what is known as bullish RSI divergence. It's been in play for quite some time and it does indicate that the market's going to move to the upside so long as it follows those technicals, which I think it will do. On top of that, take a look here at the last five candlesticks on Bitcoin. Two things to point out. What we have right here is a very bullish pattern. It's called a rising three formation, and that is a good thing because whenever you see this formation, it generally means that the market is going to move to the upside. We saw something similar happen back over here on around the 11th of August. This is very similar to the green, red, green formation, except instead of having one candlestick worth of red, like we saw right here, we see three candlesticks worth of red. It's typically a bullish continuation pattern. We can also see that before that, there was a bullish engulfing candlestick, which is very bullish indeed. And on top of that, we've seen three very long bearish shadows down here. That basically means that the bulls attempted, or excuse me, the bears attempted to crash the market Market, but they failed and the bulls recovered the market and took back control from the bears. Essentially what we're seeing happen right now guys is that Bitcoin is maintaining strong support down here and if it manages to break up above that resistance I mentioned earlier right around 63,700 then our inverse head and shoulders pattern that you can see right here is going to come into play and what does that do? Well that gives us a price target all the way up here right around 69,000. I think that Bitcoin could be on track for all time high relatively soon. In fact I think that we could be on track for all time high in as little as 14 days. I don't think it's necessarily going to happen before Friday, but I do think it's going to happen in the next week to two. Bitcoin has been looking bullish. It has already broken multiple levels of resistance and downtrending levels of resistance that it needed to get above. Now it just needs to break a couple more and then all-time high is going to be close. Plan B predicts a $98,000 Bitcoin or higher by the end of the month. And frankly, adding a trillion dollars in market capitalization in 30 days would be unprecedented and very, very surprising but it's possible. Do you think that we're about to hit all-time high again in the next seven or so days? Do you think we're going to 98K by the end of the month? I'd love to hear your thoughts on all of that in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like the video. It helps promote us in the algorithm. If you think other people will get value out of this video, that's one way that you can support that mission. And also subscribe to the channel because we're about to hit 200K subs. And if you want to get more high-quality educational and informational content like this on a daily basis, this is the channel for you if you're interested in cryptocurrency price action. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. Before I go, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching, as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, I got a real good feeling. Hey.